Hey guys, I am back with another video and today's video will be about Margie Hendricks, the founding member of the Raylettes, who were the backing singers for Ray Charles. But before I go any further, please subscribe and hit the like button, also share and comment on this video. I would really appreciate it. Disclaimer. I am not sure what is true or false in this video. I just find the information about a celebrity and make videos. This is not a biography channel. And it is just for entertainment purposes only. Please do not take any information from this video as factual. Thanks. Marjorie Hendricks, sometimes Hendricks, but she is famously known as Margie Hendricks, was born on March 13, 1935 in Register, a small town near Statesboro, Georgia. Margie was the daughter of Caddy and Renzi Hendricks. When she was young, she played piano and directed her local church choir. At age 18 years old, she decided to move to Brooklyn, New York, and recorded her first solo with New York Lamb Aladdin label. She made a few songs, but it didn't hit the charts. A year later, she left the label and replaced a member who was part of a girl group named The Cookies. The group got signed to Atlantic Records and recorded a song called Paradise, and it hit number 9 on the Rhythm and Blues chart. One day, The Cookies were working on a session, when they were introduced to Ray Charles. The group auditioned for Ray Charles on the song, Leave My Woman Alone. Margie left the group with another singer and later became backup singer for Ray Charles and formed the Raylettes. Margie left the Cookies because she didn't get along with the other members. Ray Charles had his own record label called Tangerine Records in Los Angeles. Margie recorded songs such as Let No One Hold You, which is a dance record. She was the lead vocalist on the song called A Lover's Blues with the Raylettes. But the song that made Margie famous was songs Nighttime is the Right Time and Hit the Road of Jack. Nighttime is the Right Time is widely known for Margie's powerful vocals. Her voice was a powerful church-like sound and that when you hear it, you get chills. Hendrix became the leader of the Raylettes because she was feisty, tomboyish, and didn't take any crap from anybody. Ray also stated that Margie was bisexual, and that what Ray liked about her. Ray would often help her with learning her harmony, and the more they spent time together, the more they started to develop an intimate relationship. They were both addicts that were addicted to drugs. Hendrix was addicted to heroin and alcohol, but according to Ray, he never introduced drug substances to her. She became pregnant with Ray's child, and Ray wanted her to abort the baby, but she refused. Ray helped Margie raise their child, Charles Wayne, while she became a stay-at-home mother. Ray replaced her with another singer, for the time being. Margie started to know that Ray was not being faithful to her. Margie started to tour with Ray again because she needed money. While on tour, she noticed that Ray was having affairs and it bothered her. She became jealous and angry at Ray. She started to pick fights during record sessions due to being under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Her relationship with Ray started to deteriorate because Ray wouldn't leave his wife to be with her and that she was having an affair with Ray's trumpet player. Ray found this out and decided to fire her. She decided to go back to Mercury Record and sign a new record deal with them. She released five singles, but it was a flop. She tried another record label, but it didn't go as planned and so she abused drugs and started to drink more. After she left Ray, she married Robert Folson and got into an accident while they were driving in Texas. She was injured and so was her husband. She suffered neck injuries and slight loss of hearing in her right ear. On July 14, 1973, Margie Hendricks died in New York at the age of 38. The cause of her death is unknown. Some say she died of heroin and some say she died due to the injuries she suffered due to the accident. She was out of work and according to sources, she was living in abject poverty. I truly believe that she was Ray's muse and the music kept them together. But I believe that she suffered from codependency. Rest in peace, Margie. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any social media platform, and most importantly, leave a comment below. I would like to know what you guys think about her. Thank you for watching.